hello and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel where today's video is gonna be another special effects and today's gonna be like a i don't know how to call it like a blown out eye or like a gunshot to the eye so it's pretty exciting and this video is just gonna be a tutorial on how i'm gonna achieve that so first things first um i have got makeup on because I've been out today, so I'm gonna first have to um, like take my lash off because I don't want my lashes to get ruined in this look. Um, but the first things you're gonna need are clear latex and tissue paper. All cotton wool does the trick as well. So I have now taken the eyelash off of my eye and um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Vaseline on my eye. You wanna just go in with a little bit of Vaseline on your eyebrow because you do not want um, the liquid latex to rip out your eyebrow hair as well. I know I don't. So just a little bit of a top tip so that the liquid latex does not rub off the Vaseline. And you're gonna wanna, uh, you're gonna wanna kind of go around your eye with the liquid latex. So you're gonna take some tissue paper um, and you know how it's got like two, two bits to it, or oh my, this one actually has three, but it's got like layers to it, hasn't it? So you want to take like just the little layers, so like that, and then, because you are going to want to use thin bits of tissue paper, and then you just build it up really. I feel so weird talking into a camera with one eyelash on and one eyelash off. Like I just look strange, but yeah, um, you're going to want to take them bits of tissue paper because that's what we're going to be sticking on top of the liquid latex. Um, to cover up the eye. So I am just starting to pop the liquid latex around my eye area. I'm just gonna kind of do it in like a circle sort of thing. So I'm just gonna do this bit first and then just gonna run it down there. I kind of wanna avoid getting it in my eyebrow, even though I've put the Vaseline and I still don't really want it to get in there and then once you've done like that you're gonna add like your tissue on um while it's still wet and then you're just gonna add like your chunks of tissue on to the area just like that and then you can just go just stick the excess down like that um, and then you do want to put like another layer of the liquid latex on top of the tissue to get it stuck down nicely. And then you're going to want to continue doing that around the eye area. And we're just going to start with like um, the circle around the eye. So like by no means does this have to be neat because like what kind of person that's been like shot in the eye or something is gonna look neat like as long as you've got a nice layer of it on then it will look fine um you're just gonna put a couple of layers on and then we're just gonna stick over my eye as well like so i don't know whether to use like a cotton pad for this or not like i think it might be a little bit better if i'm just gonna take like that and then i'm just gonna pick as much of the um like cotton off as possible and then i'm gonna use the cotton pad to stick over my eye because i don't like but that's like massive so i'm gonna have to trim it a little bit there we go so i've just got that and i'm gonna stick that over my eye by putting liquid latex around it and i'm gonna put tissue on top of the liquid latex so now that i've got that stuck onto my eye i'm just gonna go over the top of it with like more tissue paper um and obviously just gonna give it a little bit more texture i feel like i keep doing this with my eye because i'm closing my eye underneath because i don't know it just feels like the natural reaction to close my eye because it's covered it's kind of weird that isn't it you are then gonna want to dry 
this off with um, the hairdryer just to get the liquid latex to dry. I am now going to go over the top of this with a foundation colour, you know, to make it blend in with my skin. Liquid latex doesn't blend amazingly um, into the skin, but with this look, like it's kind of okay because you do um, like put a lot of blood around it. So it kind of does cover the seam, if that makes sense. So now that that is nice and blended in with the skin, I've ch quickly changed my outfit in case I do get a little bit of the fake blood on it because it's going to drip. And um, because that was a brand new dress, because that was a brand new dress, I don't want anything to get on it. But basically, I'm going to be putting on the blood now. I'm going to take a nice big paintbrush and I'm going to start by obviously just like painting on the blood like this, um, just in quite a thin layer. Um, you do want to get quite a bit on there and even just like kind of dabbing it on around the edges just for like a base layer of blood sort of thing. Um, a lot of blood is gonna go on here, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, so that just gives the base layer of blood and then I'm gonna take the more like, this is called Fresh Scab from Ben Knight and it's like more thicker, stickier blood and I'm gonna pop some of that on. So now that the, my eye is absolutely covered in blood, um, the kind of good thing about this is like, you can't really have like too much blood on there, which is kind of great. Um, because obviously a look like this is gonna be very bloody. But now I'm gonna take one of my stippling sponges and I'm gonna stipple on some more blood. Just kind of around the edges just to keep the edges nice and jaggedy because then like you genuinely can't see like where the liquid latex ends um and then to kind of finish off the look i am gonna take some of my drippy blood and i'm gonna just like whack it in the middle so um it's really going on my mouth and kind of like didn't want it to be but i added on my drippy blood and this is the finished look um yeah i think it looks i'm pretty happy with how it looks um i think it looks pretty good uh very scary but yeah um i hope you've enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe also comment down below if there's any other like special effects looks that you want to see from me because i really enjoy doing them and i think they're pretty fun so yeah um i will see you in another video soon